my students do look up to me, you know, and you know, they're always asking me for advice and various things. They say, Jack, you know, you, you you grew up in Shropshire, yet you haven't let that get you down. You've made a massive success of yourself, even though you come from this real shithole. And I say, well, we can all agree that Shropshire's a shithole. There's no denying that, and we all have a bit of banter about that for a while. Um, well, anyway, so they say to me, you know, I need some dating advice, and obviously a lot of my students will be entering into their first relationships and... Um, those of them that are already in relationships, I'll be asking, you know, how do I get to the, you know, sort of next step, you know, how, what do I do if my girlfriend's doing this, or, you know, or, or what do I do with my boy, you know, some of them, you know, sometimes women come up to me as well, because I'm a, I'm a role model, I really am, you know, to, in, in their view, you know, um, and, and yeah, you know, really, um, when they come to me with dating advice, I always just say the same thing, you know, keep the mystery in the relationship. Yeah, so just to give you an example of this. Um, I used to date a girl for about three years, and I never learned her name. You know, um, didn't want to know it. You know, because to me, you know, I loved her for who she was. You know, and you know her name was irrelevant. You know, I, I didn't want to know. It. I didn't care to know it. So, you know, I love you for you. You know, I, d I couldn't give a fuck what your name is. Yeah, I mean, her name could have been Cunstbag McShits herself, and I still would have loved her for who she was. So, yeah. Well, anyway, about, you know, three years into a relationship, she says to me one day, she says, oh, my name's Melissa. Yeah. So I had to dump her. Really ruined the, you know, ruined the mystery. So, yeah. Shame, really, because Melissa ruined, ruined a beautiful thing. So, keep the mystery. That's hot.